welcome, welcome to another Sith Holocron Donger deck discussion from the Dongers of Rinsera. I think I'm falling in love with Lulu now. She's got a little bug at the minute, which means she's being kind of taken out of tournament play for a little while until uh, the quick patch comes in to sort it out. But when she's fixed, she is still brilliant. So I have made a Lulu Zen. I have made Lulu Zen, a Lulu Z deck and a Lulu Chen deck. I sort of combined the two and got completely the wrong thing. And today, as you can maybe see above my head, we're going to go with Tarek. And I did the normal thing of if you're going to do something, do this. And this is everything in... Uh, obviously, if I'm having Lulu, I have to be an Aeonia. And I thought, it might be actually quite good to make a, make a uh, Targon deck. Because um, uh, everything else it, well, isn't really. So, uh, let, let's go for this. Um, so, here's, here's the deck. Um, I took nearly everything that I could out of these. Um, I really need to get an extra one of these. Um... Oh, do you know what? Let's just let's just get an extra one of those, and then I think if that's the case, I'll make that a three, and maybe remove this one. Yeah. Okay. So all threes bar one. My lovely way of deck building, but hey, that is how it is. So everything in here supports each other. Everything does a whole ton of stuff. It's all kind of cool and groovy. Let's see how we get on. Uh, first card in the deck, Flower Child. If I'm supported, grant me plus two power. That's pretty good. Uh, kind of dropping her down later is excellent. Um, or even early is excellent uh, because it's all kind of fun and groovy stuff. So she needs support. But uh, here is a support character. Here is Pix. Uh, nice cheeky little one drop that gives my supported ally plus two, plus one this round. And if you've played Lulu or you've played against Lulu, you know that all of a sudden these decks can get really big, really fast, really horribly, really quickly. So, Herald of Spring was, has been a card since the beta Support, give my supported ally lifesteal this round. Really good to put onto these little things if they're going to die. Um, because then you can support it. And But can you imagine that onto that onto this? You know, that then, you know, doesn't really do anything at all. So you need to do that. You know, but there are things you can do much, much lower down. Much lower down. Uh, Peel Cascade. What an amazing card this is. Um... If you drop it second, you'll get to draw a card, which is fantastic in any card game at all. And you get give an ally plus two, plus one. This round is pretty, pretty good. So you could, for instance, Hell Spring, put it out, have this supporting this, supporting this, and then Pale Cascade to pick, so you're getting at least two and all that sort of stuff. And Pale Cascade's a burst spell, so that all works really well. And then the Young Witch is an automatic 3 of an elusive that when given support, when it gives something, you get a quick attack and plus one power this round. So there's an awful lot of very good spells going around and supports. Uh, Hush is just, oh my god. Oh my god. I wasn't running any. Now I'm running twos and threes of. So uh, this is kind of imperative. To be able to silence any unit at all in this game, for the round and then it replaces itself so you can do it again if you get this and you know that you're up against something ridiculous you can hush you can hush asol it won't work and you just do it again and then it just takes everything off and because a spell shield has been popped people thought that was going to be an issue no it's not something really nice and cheap um to pop it and then everything else just goes straight through unless of course they are uh, bastion and put it back on again which is incredibly annoying uh but if not uh taking out things like the mind splitter and all their sort of stuff you know um uh, just get three of them they're they're that good please 
Craft 3. Uh, Lulu, oh, the girl, oh, the girl. I mean, look at this. Look at how gorgeous she is. When she supports, an ally grows up to 4-4. Four, four. Look at the amount of support we have in here. Look at the amount of support we have everywhere in here. The only thing we didn't go with was Shen, because we went with Tarek, and we've got every other support in the game. Lulu will automatically level, maybe even before she drops onto the board, which is completely bonkers. This I'm beginning to fall in love with. Grant my supported ally plus two, plus two. So that's a permanent buff to whatever character you need to add to. And then when it dies, you get three gems. And gems are the one cost thing that heals an ally one and grants it plus one power. Brilliant three of in this deck. Concussive Palm. Oh, Concussive Palm's in here for a very good reason. It's extra units. It also stops anything going through. It's fast, so it can't be denied. But, you know, you got to be playing against Ionia for it to get denied. Um, bang. Stopped. You get a unit. You get this boy. Red Brady fella. Lovely jobs. We can't recall him. We're not running Will. We're not running Deny. We're not doing any of that at all. But it's an extra unit to kind of stall off. And then support him to get... It's all oh, the concept. The concept. Though for multifaceted versatility, very little beats this four drop. The Fuzzy Caretaker, obviously a fan of Braum with that moustache. When he's supported, he ends up being a 3-6. But then if he supports something else, he gets a supported ally 3 power. Wow, I'm, I'm amazed this isn't it. doesn't cost 5. Because he not only gets a buff, he gives a buff. That's fantastic. And really good in the four drop zone, where we also have our other main champion. And I did think about not putting Fuzzy in, and then went, Pfft, you're criminally mad if you don't want him in there. Tarek is brilliant. As a support, give me my support of ally tough this round. So they're instantaneously harder to kill by one. That's fantastic. And you copy the last spell you cast on only me this round onto that ally. It can't be copied again. So, things like Pale Cascade. I mean, we are, aren't running that many spells. We're only running 12. And three of which are star shaping. But, it could be worse. You know, you're not going to hush your, your own guy. That's, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. So, we've got Hush, Pale Cascade. And then, we have the Star Shapers. But I'm getting ahead of myself because this will heal your ally or your Nexus 5. Even if he's at full health and the person he's doing, he will also get that, which is just fantastic. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, and Concussive Palm is my other one. So we don't actually have that many spells, really, apart from um, uh, Star Shaping and uh, Pale Cascade. But they are two of the very best spells that uh, the new expansion has given us. This, though was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to go in to um, Targon. Because this is fantastic. Now this, this is fantastic, this card. And it's starting to see a bit of play. And I can guarantee you when Lulu becomes a big thing, they may go down this route and enter Targon and maybe just use this card as a thing. Because there are so many cards in this deck, uh, if we go back up to the top, uh, we're nearly on an even split. We're nearly on an even split. Uh, but Mentor of the Stones, Mountain Sojourners, Fuzzy Caretaker, etc. are such good cards that, I mean, technically you could go with Shen and or, or Zed and just add these cards in as your splash of Targon. You should certainly, certainly do that. But uh, this young lady... Wow. So for five mana, she's only got two power, but she has five health. And then when you support it, the granted ally gets plus two, plus two. If it has support, granted supported ally plus two, plus two, and continue for each supported ally in succession. Nearly everything in my deck has got supports. That's pretty damn good. Star shaping, brilliant. You're not only invoking a celestial cost seven or more, 
you can heal an ally in your nexus fives you will probably put it on the Tarek if in trouble and the last one is arbiter of the peak which is overwhelm cost 10 game ender reduce my cost by one for every single time you've targeted or supported allies in this game this is Tarek lulu i think this has got a good bit of that testing to get done to it but in the meantime we're going to save it and we are going to if it lets me save it thank you very much we will clip the deck code which will be at the bottom in the pinned comments along with a free invite to the dongers of Rintera discord come and join us we're out uh, i know we're european but we are fun thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you can it makes all the difference and uh hope you enjoyed watching this donger deck discussion so until the next time take it easy dongers out <laughs>